What's up guys, it's Luke from Diamond Wake here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Conley Cuda Wake Surfer. Um, it's 5 feet in length, and that's all I know about it, so let's get into opening it. Okay, so here it is. Um, as we saw last time, I still can't open boxes, but I'm going to try, so this one should be a lot easier. I did it! I opened a box successfully for the first time on the channel. Um, okay, now... Uh, hmm. Okay, well I opened it right, but... Now I have to get it out of the package, so... Um... Ah. It was a bit of a struggle, I'll be honest, but I did. Um, we gotta put this in the, well, yeah, there's nothing left in here, so it goes in the trash pile, as we all know. Um, I've left it full of trash since last time, uh, just to, you know, kind of, just kind of build up the pile, if you know, if you know what I mean. Here's the trash pile. Um, it's a little bit little bit overflowing now there's two huge boxes and everything else you'd expect to be in a trash pile so okay now we're gonna open the thing that you know the actual product okay this thing is like super um, super protected so that's good just on like a shipping standpoint this thing is probably it's not gonna break so that's good okay so we have the board out it's right there but that's not the important part the important part is all the trash that gets to go in the pile so here we go Beautiful, okay. Now, oh, I totally put something over there that was important. Um, there we go. Um, okay, so, just out of the box, this is, and the wrapping, this is the board. So it's like five feet, as you can see. It's like at my shoulder level, I'd say. Um, it's got this grip all the way down the front. So I could bring this closer. It's got this nice grip all the way down the front, all the way near the top. So that's pretty nice. Um, the bottom has just a nice little graphic here. It says Conley Cuda, five foot. Uh, there's a warning label on the bottom, as well as these two holes where the fins go into. And the bottom of the board, if I can get it up there, I'll just stand back, is this kind of like fishtail design. Um, which is, if you aren't, don't know, um, if you have a more, we have another wake surfer at the lake, so a more square back like this one will, uh, it allows for more of the board to be, uh, in the water, which means that you'll get more push because there's more water being able to push the board, or more board being able to be pushed by the water, I guess. So, uh, the other one we have has kind of this shape at the tip and tail. So it makes it a little bit harder to get the push. So if you were looking for something with more push, um, this this kind of thing is the way to go. Um, so as you can see, it comes with this little pencil case thing. Um, these This will have things that you need in it, like the two fins that go on the bottom of the board. So they're right here. Um, there are these big fins that go on the bottom. And put those down. Okay, so they give you this little tool. Um, I'm not sure what it's for yet. I'm sure it's for the fins or something like that. They give you an owner's manual that comes with it uh, with important warning information. Uh, so that's all in here, and I will read that later, but I'm not going to bore you with it here. Um, so yeah, that's all that's in this little pencil case. And now I'm going to put the fins on, and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. So I'm actually going to show you... Um, so I'm actually going to show you how these screw in because it's pretty interesting and I haven't seen something like it before. Okay, as you can see there's two holes here and then there's two little screws here. So what you have to do is you have to unscrew these to the point where, that's tighter, to the point where they're not sticking through those holes. Yeah. And then once they're not sticking through those holes you can take the fin 
and you can place it in there nicely. And then you gotta screw these back in until they are clamping down on the fins. So what this means is sorry. What this means is that there's not gonna be any screws on top of the board and it's all from the bottom. So that is pretty interesting. And then they're in there securely. So um, yeah, they're not gonna fall out. Okay, so that's the uh, unboxing of the Conley Cuda Wake Surfer. Um, it wasn't as long as most of the unboxings usually are, but there's really not much to talk about with this uh, with this board. It's a normal Wake Surfer, and it's got you know it's pretty standard stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to learn more about this and other another Wake Surfer we have, we will have a video this summer uh, where we'll probably compare the two and see what matters in a wake surfer. So uh, yeah, subscribe if you wanna see that. Uh, like the video if you thought this was helpful. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye.